Do you like my mic for this video? Hey there, hi there, ho there. Now, it's been a hot minute since we've done anything Minecraft related on this channel, and I can only hold the urge back for so long. I also realize I haven't done the one animal that most people love. A dog. Specifically, in this case, a Minecraft dog. Er, wolf? Dog? Wolf dog? Whatever, you know what I mean. So let's get started. This guy's getting so small. He's so bitty bitty. Get out. Hey. It's about to get worse for you, buddy. This ball rolling, I'm squishing some tin foil into what will be our future doggo friend. Once roughly shaped, I slap on some clay to start building up that face. The first layer is always the absolute jankiest. Please don't actually check that. I don't know how to trademark things. Understand how like some YouTubers and artists can get that such smooth aesthetic shot. Or like the clay just lays on so beautifully and it's just like ah, and I'm just over here like <laughs> smooth it out smack it get it in place <laughs> need to figure out what eye size we're gonna use for this little wolfo doggo whichever o gotta break out the box of mystery please tell me I'm not gonna go for these Karen they're too big don't do it don't do it girl don't do it it's not worth it I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. I did it. Big kahuna as it is, every single time. Okay, with the eye size figured out, now we need to figure out what color the eyes are gonna be, which means it's eye pack time. So I can take this two ways. I can do it where I do a black eye and it just like has hints of color in it, or I can actually give him like an, an iris. We're gonna do both, cause why not? Okay, here is our eyes. Uh, we have the just black pupil, but with like a little bit of colors. And then we have- This story's about me, not him. Okay, you got it? All right, we're gonna move ahead. Sorry to slow you down. <laughs> All right, to glue everything together, breaking up the resin. And, and, and the light to, to cure it. <laughs> Bloop. Can we break out the beam of light? Bing. One minute later. Once cured, I snip the eyes out of their paper prison and they're all ready to go. After the eyes are placed, I continue building up that noggin. Noggin. Dude. <laughs> What do you think the chances are that I'm gonna nail this nose and try run and it's not gonna come out absolutely crooked? Yep, let's find out. <laughs> okay. Boop. Even, come on. Nyeh. Hey, that, well, I mean, maybe a little bit. It's slanting a little bit on this side, but hey, you know what? It's, I've done worse. Okay, I'll take it, I take it. And you come in here, do a little, They'll swoop, you bring it around town, and then, because you're fancy, you're gonna do a little, little squiggle. Little squiggle, you see, you see the squiggle? Doggo's got a little, got a little line right here. And then bam, that, that's, that's it. Nothing else has to happen, that is an absolutely perfect nose. What? Did you miss it? Did you blink or something? Should be paying more attention. I was conflicted about the expression. I tried to land somewhere around the no thoughts, just happy vibes look. At this point, it's just becoming a staple of mine that if I make something cute, I gotta give it a little blip. Oh my God. It just, yep, yeah, I, it, there's nothing else to say, just blip, yep. All right, it's ear time. 
the urge to give him a floppy ear was strong, but I resisted, trying to stay somewhat true to the Minecraft reference material. Now, I would talk about these paws, but uh, don't get attached to them. Hey, so I just spend all the time doing this and like this is cute whatever it's clearly cartoony adorable and 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 stuff <laughs> but <laughs> i forgot that i already had like cutesy paws and i've had these the whole time just sitting here and they're already the right size so i'm just gonna use uh these instead just a waste of time just, it's fine ah. it's fine okay we need to go bake this now one hour later I'm cute, but I'm trying to be scary at the same time. Ooh. Unnecessary. Oh, really unnecessary. That was just uncalled for. Oh, you're gonna be a butt, I can tell. You're giving off butt energy. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Fill the cavity with the forbidden goop. Insert the armature. Foot. Repeat as necessary. Forbidden goop. Insert the armature. Repeat as necessary. Again, if, if you have not been paying attention, fill with the goop. Insert the armature. Repeat as necessary. <laughs> This is gonna take a lot of forbidden goop. Yep. Now we're in the clear. And then I'm gonna have to sit here until the school's. Now that the armature debacle is done, it's time to build up that buddy. Quick, uh, PSA. Don't accidentally buy the wrong type of quilt batting because you'll spiral like I did. This is not fun. I'm not having a good time. This is not fun. We're gonna persevere though. Because we don't have a choice. This is what happens when you try to make something in a week. Yeah, this stuff was a pain to work with. It's so heckin' thin, so it takes forever to build up the body. So I really had to wrap it over and 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 over again until I had no sanity left. But even still, I make sure not to go too ham to account for the fluff later on. But like I always say, if you want chunk 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 boy, you go and you get chunk 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 boy. If you want thin 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 boy, you go and you get thin 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 boy. Okay, we support all body shapes and sizes here. All right, it's fluffing time. Using the jigsaw method, we're gonna eyeball everything, cut some strange shapes out, sew them together, and hopefully come out the other side with a perfect, no issue sewn body. Let's go. With the body sewn, it's time to fluff the face. But first, I need to prime it with paint. Sweet, all right, let's get furring. Well, that's great. My footage apparently got corrupted. Or I forgot to film it, but I'm gonna say corrupted anyway. So here's a dramatic reenactment. I'm doing it, I'm doing yeah. it, yeah! Here's the pup in all his floofy glory, but it's time to head to the groomer. I'm 
such a groomer. I have thinning shears. I'm grooming a puppo. This is the most legit I've ever felt. With a proper trim, this guy is looking snazzy. Now it's time to airbrush, cause Minecraft dogs are gray, not white. <laughs> It's pretty hard to tell on camera, but I swear the color is changing. I just opted to go with many light layers instead of being heavy handed like I normally am. Progress. Once the base layer's on, I start adding the shading, making sure to be as accurate as possible to Mr. Wolf Doggo's colors in game. Only thing left to do is to paint the remaining details, starting with the nose. Moving on to the little blip. Then playing the game of oh my god don't mess up while painting the mouth. The ears get a nice ear pink. Can't forget to dry brush them details to make them pop. And of course, we finish off with toe beans. You're looking pretty good, bud. You just seem to be missing something. Oh, I know. You want a treat? Oh, yes, you do. Okay, but you gotta be a good boy and stay still. Stay. Stay. Okay, there's a good boy. You can have it. Oh, you're looking perfect now. <laughs> With our Minecraft wolf dog all finished, it's time to take a look at the final montage. <laughs> 